you guys want to run come on it's us to stand on a redstone block let's go let's go let's stand on a redstone block and there it goes we have found our block now tell us to stand on a prismarine block we found it now we need to stand on a grass block we can just go here we stand at it it says we found our block now it's a redstone block there we go grass there we go prismarine oopsie prismarine grass bookshelf okay guys so that was this is it and let's get into tutorial hey guys so we're back here today we're showing how to do this block shuffle well this is actually something dream and george did and they did it with a plugin i believe and yeah if you guys rocking bedrock edition like i am right now uh yeah you, you can't really get a plugin like that so i made my own way with command blocks okay so this is basically how the whole structure looks from there to there everything now as you see as you've seen you can just give it some delay if you want so the text does display a little bit better so it's only it, it can make like one second but yeah that we'll get into that so yeah so let's get into it okay so basically what you're going to need is um yeah you're going to have to have cheats activated because it does use command blocks but it's fine so even people who's not really good at command blocks don't know anything about command blocks can do this okay so basically this is everything you need so four blocks that you're going to use for this uh block shuffle you can use any blocks you can use more than four but i'm just going to show you basic with four okay so this is this is not, not this is not important right now what is important is command blocks okay so yeah, you're gonna need a command, a normal command block, chain command block, and a repeating command. If you don't, if you don't know how to get one, just go into a chat. You can just slash give at p or at s doesn't really matter, and you can just go command block. There we go. Get myself another command block, so I have two. Okay. So that's the most important things. You can use any block of your choice. Button, oak sign. This is also very important. Armor stand, name tag, and anvil. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to break these for now. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to place the anvil down. You can name your name tag to like anything. Anything. Doesn't matter. Anything. You can, uh, okay, let's just do it. Something, let's just do uh, type. And let's just do a T. You can, you can do anything. It's fine. Okay. So now you can throw the anvil away. Doesn't matter. So now what you're going to do is, you're going to place. And yeah, I'm just doing four. So you can do more if you want to. So uh let's just make them face this way and those this way there we go okay so here's the last one so yeah if you want to do more you can just like go on with this but i'm just going to do four just to do a quick demonstration okay so yeah this is going to be quite a long video but yeah just sit tight okay so now you can just make a line through this with your block of choice any block doesn't really matter Okay, so now you're going to place the four armor stands down. And you're going to name them all your uh, name. You're naming the uh, name tag, okay? So you're naming anything. So now you can just build like a two block thing with any block. Just place a button there. You can place it on top or bottom. I'm just placing it on top. Here you can say run. And here you can say end, okay? Okay, so this is very important. So you're gonna have to make a um, repeating command block face this way four, okay? The many armor stands you have, that's how many repeating command blocks. I'm gonna go two chain command blocks. Let's see. Just right after that one. And make sure to make them all conditional, okay? All conditional. Because um yeah, it can't be unconditional, otherwise it will just keep executing without you actually find the block. So you know what that means basically um Let's say it tells you to stand on a grass block, but if it was conditional, um, it was conditional, I mean unconditional, even though you didn't stand on a block, it will still just go on, okay? But anyway, just remember this needs to be neat redstone. Don't put on always active. That's actually a thing that not, not a lot of people use, but yeah, it can be quite useful like we're using it now. So just keep this re repeating command blocks on um, neat redstone, okay? But yeah okay so here you can just place another chain command block to each one you can do it this side or that side doesn't matter and now you can place a, uh, a repeating command block this one you can place always active and you can just sorry i forgot a, you also need a comparator 
but you, you don't actually even need this you, j you don't need that but yeah it just makes it a lot easier okay so you can do that and you can I recommend just you can do it any place but I'm just gonna do it two blocks from here so remember this coordinates uh, 87 minus 29 okay 87 minus 29 so you're gonna go test for blocks I mean test for block oopsie it was 20 ah, I mean uh, 87 sorry I forgot a little bit 87 4 minus minus 29 you can go any block you can you can go any block I'm just gonna go for bra grass block okay so basically what does it um, let's just get a grass block quickly you can just pick block one so basically if you place one here that thing goes on if you break it it goes off okay so that's gonna be working with this so basically I'm gonna place one command block uh, behind one two of these here you're gonna also place a chain command block so here you can just uh, set block um, that coordinates you just wrote 87 4 minus 29 and you're gonna just go grass so basically when uh, this one when you, play, when you press this one it sets a grass block here and this one sets for a block and it actually is so that sends a signal to this one okay so here you have to concentrate a little bit okay I'm not a big concentrator myself but yeah just do it here okay so here you're gonna go execute at R okay Go square brackets, type equals armor scan. Sorry, I just also feel it because PlayStation takes very long to type. And you're gonna go name, oopsie, not num, name equals, uh, I'm gonna go T because I named these T. So just name it anyone that you named your name tag to. Just name it to your name tag. So mine was T. You go free Matildas or Tildas. Three, one, two, three, and now you're gonna go set block, okay? And you're gonna go minus two there, and another tilde, okay? So now you're gonna say redstone block, and three tildes. There you go. So that is that command. I'm just gonna show one more time on screen. Okay, there you go. So basically, what this does is, if you run this command block now, if you press this button goes there and it sets a redstone block underneath of these the reason didn't work right now I'm not sure uh, just, oh okay I think I know why um, but yeah so it, it should not work right now you can test it maybe it does maybe it doesn't but yeah basically this is if it um, it says for that grass block and then it um, executes the first one so basically this sets a redstone block two blocks underneath the uh, armor stand and then it executes this command blocks okay let's just quickly see if it works okay no it doesn't work right now um okay sorry there's no free matildas I, I just got confused so yeah no no do not type free matildas in there okay so now if you run this it will place a redstone block at a random location underneath these ones now um oops yeah press end so, um, oh yeah, you need to break it every time. So yeah, I'll get into it later. That's with the end one, okay. But um, yeah, just quickly see, it places a redstone block underneath one of these random. So it's 25% chance for him, for him, and for him. Okay, so yeah. So um, once you've done that, you can go to over here. But okay, I didn't know where to start, so I just, <laughs> let's just start here. Okay, so you're gonna place your first block in line with this one okay you don't have to but trust me it's worth it okay so you're gonna take your four blocks this is the reason I'm taking the four blocks now is just because um so you can see how it works okay you can place this one this one and this one so I have my four blocks here one to execute with okay so now you're gonna go I'm just gonna quickly clear, uh, clear mine remove uh, okay so I removed my tag but basically what I do now you're gonna go and give yourself a tag okay so basically just tap type slash tag add s add any tag I'm gonna go tr no let's just go t so now I have um, the tag t okay 
So you can do it with level enchantments also, but the problem is when you die, it loses. I'm not, I don't think uh, tags lose when you die, so yeah. But it's, uh, it's fine, just give yourself a tag. So what you do now is, um, you're just gonna go in this one, just press, just type this command. You're gonna go say, add a tag equals the tag you enter. So I have T, so I'm gonna type anything, but I'm gonna type um, stand on a, um, what's this block, redstone block. Stand on a redstone block, okay? So I recommend you highlight th this by just placing a, um, whatever tag is, just making another color. So here you're gonna do the same with this block, okay? So the reason you place it in line with it is to just organize a little bit. So you're gonna go say, add a, your tag, tag equals t okay so now we can just um, stand on a bookshelf okay I'm gonna make this one blue you can make it any color you don't even have to type this you don't you, you don't even have to type anything I'm just but it makes it a little bit better so yeah okay so you're gonna go bookshelf but I recommend if you do a lot of blocks of these uh, don't make another color because it's gonna waste your time. So yeah, so you're gonna go again say at a tag equals T okay, so now you're gonna go say I mean um sand on a Prismarine this is a Prismarine block. I'm using here Okay, let's just quickly let's give it green Let's go green. Uh, oopsie. We can just go with F again and make it white block. Okay. So yeah, that's that. And the last one, you're gonna go this block, any block you choose, but I'll choose grass. Say at a tag equals T. Okay. So I'm gonna go um, stand on a grass can make this one yellow okay can make any color make any color you, you don't even have to make it a color you can choose and f block there we go so now we have these command block i'm um set up so over here we're gonna go to these now and basically let me tell you what these does okay but uh, that's fine, we'll get into it later. So now I'm gonna go, um, okay, here, this one is another long one. It's not hard, but it's just a long one. So you're gonna go execute at R, three tildes, detect tilde, and this one, tilde minus one, and you get another tilde, okay? So now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna type your first block, okay? So my first block is a grass block. Grass minus, oopsie. You can go minus one unless you want to do concrete or something, something that has a um, other block but another color, something like blue concrete and yellow concrete. What you're gonna do is you're not gonna type minus one. You're gonna type concrete with his item item ID, okay, number ID. So let's say concrete two or concrete four, which is green with yellow. I think it's yellow. So yeah, you're gonna type minus one for that. But this stuff it doesn't have another. Uh, thing close to it like another grass with other color you just gonna type minus one okay and you then type say add a this why this time you're not gonna uh, type your tag you can you can but otherwise it just displays to you if you want to play this multiplayer I'll still make a tutorial on that I'm just I just need to edit a little bit but yeah if you want to do this with another with a friend or something you can just do say at a because otherwise your friend won't know when you got your block so let's go say at a actually you can go um, it still says for everybody just say at a and then at s okay has found oopsie not forest let me just quickly make it bigger found 
their block okay so basically just do this command with every block you have so yeah I'm gonna quickly go through this I'll probably just speed it up a little bit but yeah I just do a nine to make it organized a little bit so that one is for redstone block which is here bookshelf prismarine and grass okay so done that so these two are one of the most important and this whole thing everyone is important but these two these two commands are, oh my freak they're so important okay without them you can't do anything okay so you're gonna go chain conditional always active make sure these are conditional okay but also what you're gonna do is you can first give it a little bit of uh, delay and tick so I'm gonna do one second delay which can work if you only want to display it once which I, you probably want to oopsie just make so execute on first ticks on so just do a delay you can do any delay you can I don't know any delay but I'm gonna do a 20 second delay I mean 20 tick delay which is one second okay so yeah there we got that and these two okay yeah so basically what you done there if you place a um, redstone block here if you then go to your red your block it will say I found my block okay so basically um, yeah if it was always active it would just always say that when you go on a block so that's why you need to that okay so yeah I said this one um, I know in the tutorial I said to type this one first into this one but please just switch it around do not this one has to come last this one has to come first okay so just a quick disclaimer please don't do it otherwise please don't place this one before this one otherwise it won't work okay so the set block one should come first and then the execute okay thank you guys so um, what you're gonna do now is here you're gonna go with one of the first commands execute at R um, I mean sorry square brackets type equals armor stand and again sorry I type um, auto folds playstation types really slow so comma name equals t okay so basically when you got this block it just basically what this one does it executes again and gives you a new block so it has a it has a 25 percent of getting this new block or same block but it has a 75 percent of giving a new block and a 25 percent of the same block so you may get the same block i mean a more the more blocks you have the lesser likely okay so now you can just go three tildes set block tilde minus two tilde okay redstone block there you go just leave it like that okay so yeah the reason why it's conditional otherwise it just place a redstone block here which just automatically execute without even standing on the block okay so yeah so that's it okay so here this one talk very this one's also very important so basically I'm just gonna set this block to air that block to air okay set that block to air okay so yeah so um, you can take a coordinates or you can just do total so in my case I'm gonna go check on my z you notice XYZ in the left corner position look at the last one so it changes one two three so I'm just gonna go minus three the last one let me do this. I'm just gonna go tilde, tilde, tilde. The last one minus three. Okay, so one, two, three. And yeah, just then you just type air. And that's it. So if I then get it, it just set it to air and gets a new one. Okay. So yeah, we haven't uh, done this, so it's fine. I can just break it for now. That happens. Just don't break any command block. So yeah, you're gonna do this to every other block here let's just see one more time so the second one is this and the second I mean the first one is this and this last one second one is this so yeah maybe yours is this way I don't know but usually it's this way so I just make the last one set this block to air just this block okay oopsie okay so I'm gonna do this quickly and I'm gonna speed it up okay so now we fold everyone with the right command just make sure you have the right command 
just look at us one more time if you want to so I'm gonna go through all of these quickly okay got it okay so I did this okay let's break this one quickly is there another one no okay so now we're gonna go on to the last commands second last commands which is these at the back here okay so here you're gonna have to have one command um, I choose I'll recommend this one not a second one otherwise it can be a little bit harder it doesn't really matter but you basically just want to set this block that block to air okay that block needs to go to air but this one is probably the one who runs everything but I'll get to that now so basically you can make it this one but I recommend this one so basically you see my Z colon which is the last one minus 29 I go in here it goes to 28 so basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set block total total and then total and minus see not exclamation mark minus one actually it's plus one sorry maybe it's different for you but for me it's plus one then I'm just gonna go air so basically what now happens is if I place this block it goes to air okay you can go the coordinates but I'm just gonna quickly fill everything in we did that one so now you can just quickly do a test just place one block there make sure Oopsie. make sure it's being set to air if it isn't just make sure your commands are right don't set anything else to air otherwise you're gonna have to watch this over again okay so here here is one of the there's the second last command which is probably if not the most important of running this whole thing okay so um, first you're gonna get these coordinates okay for the first one mine is 94 minus 38 okay then you're gonna go to the second one. Uh, way to remember is, is just in, just remember this first one, okay? Which is 90 minus 48, 38. So here you're gonna look at um, the one that changes, okay? So in my case, the x changes. So I see, okay, there's a two positive block change in every one, okay? So now I know, okay, so this one's gonna be 94 and this one's gonna be 96. As you can see, okay? So now I do is I just go set block which is the, f the first coordinate 4 minus 38 we got a redstone block so basically all it does is it sets a redstone block to here oopsie oh I already stand that as why okay I'm just gonna quickly do that so yeah the reason why it was set to here because I stand stood on my block basically just set to here if you stand on this block it disappears and executes another um, armor stand okay okay so there is the first one so now you know the second one has a positive two block change okay maybe not in your case maybe your case it's a negative or something I don't know so then I have to go 92 3 minus 38 so if you don't understand what's going on you can just take the coordinates of everyone just just before this command block okay which is right there okay so here's the second one and now the third one which is 94 4 minus 38 uh, redstone block there we go and these ones can be unconditional I forgot to say about that you can make unconditional but it, 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 it doesn't matter you can make it anything just just make a chain always active okay and this one minus 38 here we go in red some block okay so basically what that does is let's quickly see now so we're basically done with it we just need to do this again so yeah I can, you can extend this you can extend it with any block you can extend it with 60 blocks 100 blocks doesn't matter it's gonna take a while so now if you run this it executes a random one and tells me to stand on a rectangle block so now if I go okay okay basically what this is what happens if you don't put the set block one first. What happened there is, um, as you can see, there was already a redstone block at, at one. I didn't know that could happen. So, what you want to do is, instead of having the other one, the execute one first, you want the set block first. Sorry about that, but um, I'll probably just edit it in just to tell you to not do that. Just the first do the set block to air I think I'm not sure what it happens but for some reason it okay I think I know why because 
I think it executes a few times instead of one time if the um, executor is first. So I'll just quickly do this and I'll be back. Okay, so after you fix that, it should be working now. Sorry, that was a mistake, but I probably just edited something. I don't know. But now it should be able to work. So yeah, you just had to replace that with that. Just replace these two switch places. Okay, so now let's run this again. Oopsie. Let's run this again. So it tells us to stand on a redstone block. Okay. Redstone block. So as you see, the text went three times. There's three times get wrecked by Marty as founder thing. So um, I don't know if we can fix it right now. Maybe I can find a way in the tutorial. I mean, the future. But actually, sorry, that the thing wasn't the problem. So we should be able to do this now without any problem. Sorry, I didn't even think about that. So delay is not a problem. Or oh, actually, this is test tested. Okay. So maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. So let's test it. Let's see if it actually is a problem. So I don't think it is because it doesn't actually have anything to do with um well what you wanted to do so okay 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 actually then give it just a forty tick delay to press marine block okay okay so now it only does it once two times okay that's it two times so two times is better than one. So yeah, so that is it for now, but still we have something else, the end one, okay? So actually you can, um, yeah, so as you can see this works now, but now just do the end thing. So basically you want to just get this block's coordinates, which is 96 minus 38, oopsie, let's break this for now, 96 minus 38 to 90 minus 38, okay? So basically you're just going to do those two coordinates and you're going to Type full, okay. You gotta place the first, you uh, the first one, and then the last one. You can do the other way around; doesn't matter. Just do it. You don't even have to do this run and thing, but run and end. But I recommend. So there we go. Air. So basically, let's execute this one more time. It probably yep. Let's execute this again. So let's our red. Okay, so it's a redstone block. Bookshelf, grass block. There you go. Okay. So basically, what that does is, if there's any one left in those areas, as you can see, there's a redstone block now there for the bookshelf. If you press this button, it just sets to air, and you can stand then stand on any block. Nothing will happen. Okay. So as you can see, nothing happens on any block. None. Okay. And the last command you can do is. And set this one to air, then you can run it again. So it's 87 minus, tw minus 29. Set block minus. Oh no, it's not minus. It's just 87 for minus 29. And you can just go air. So now what we do is. Okay, let's run this. So here we go. Oopsie. Here we go. We run it. It's set stand on a grass block. Okay. Stand on it. So now. Okay, so basically what there happened is, um, basically what happened is, <laughs> it executed the grass block one three times, <laughs> which doesn't happen often because it's only 25% chance, but sometimes it will happen to get the same block. But remember, I told you to fix it, to fix it you just, and there again, it, yeah, sometimes it does happen. To fix it, um, you can do a more things just to make it more less likely. So, okay, we're standing in. What happens now? Okay, so it executes a. Yeah, so sometimes that happens. But yeah, just as I said, you can just do um, more ones to make it less likely. That I would recommend that. So, yeah, so that was the tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you found this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps. And I can. If I can at least get five likes, I'll do this how to do it with friends in the next week maybe next video i don't know but yeah if, if you guys really enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and yeah as always and last thing you can do is sorry you can just like cover this up as a matter but yeah bye guys and i'll see you guys in the next one